Well, hello and welcome to Knife Delights. We are going to be looking at another fantastic Buck fixed blade knife, the Buck 103 Skinner. Wait a minute, you say? The thumbnail said the original Buck 110. Well, yeah, we have to look at the history of this knife. It has a long history. I went back and I found in a 1954 catalog or a, a sales flyer, this was originally named the Buck Professional, although there was no number assigned to it. But later on, we'll see that it was numbered the 110. So from the 54 catalog, it says, This knife is designed according to specifications of leading big game hunters. Heavy cut anything, 3.5 inch blade, big curved handle of lignum vitae, will hold an edge longer than any skinning knife made. Beautiful extra heavy saddle leather sheath included. $15. So, prior to, I'm just going to say prior to 1961, I believe, um, you know, they didn't have their blade stamped. Uh, I don't even know if they had buck stamped on them. Um, then the model numbers and when they added buck and all this and that, that's a whole other uh, ball of wax that we need to avoid for this video anyway. Now, what I believe to be the Buck 1962 catalog, we have the Skinner, model 110. Wide, 4-inch blade, heavy, fine edge. Weight, size, and design of this knife makes the toughest skinning jobs simple. So you can see it went from a 3.5-inch blade to a 4-inch blade. Now you'll see it has a white handle. And that is that Vignum uh, material. Buck first started using that material um, in 1961, I believe, when they started their uh, production knives. And I will be doing an upcoming video, just to note, on Buck's first original uh, fixed blade hunting knives. The, the first set of them they came out with, the first six, when, in 1961. But anyway, this white material, handle material... For some reason, I guess uh, hunters started complaining that in cold weather that that material would crack. And so they quickly switched to the phenolic handle. So if you find one of these with a white handle on it, why I would snag it up really quick because that's going to be a rare one. Now it didn't take too long. The, the model number 110 did not last very long on it before it was changed to the 103. And Larry Oden, uh, who writes articles and for the Buck Collectors Club, said in one of his articles, uh, many Buck collectors are unaware that there are now that the now famous 110 model number was assigned to a fixed blade knife over a very short time frame before being discarded. After perhaps only a few months, the 110 model number was revived and reassigned to the brand new folding hunter. Nobody seems to know the rationale behind these moves. And who could have foreseen the importance of how this would play out? Today we know it was a big deal. It sure is. And just of note, they did package these. They had a package deal between, well, it was the 110 and then we named a 103. And the 102. So it would come and it, it had a dual sheath. I do not happen to have one. I've seen them on eBay before. They go for a pretty penny, uh, especially some of the older ones. So they did pair these together. I guess there was a little bit of controversy uh, the first time they paired them together in some of the early sheaths, the dual sheaths, because the hunters were kind of complaining that for some reason the knives would kind of clang together uh, when carried on their belt. So they did some revisions to the sheaths. So a lot of interesting uh, information here. Okay, we'll set that one aside here for just a moment. Oh, I better put it in the right sheath though. That doesn't quite fit. Okay, you didn't see that off camera. That's good. So anyway, here we are now with the modern Buck 103 Skinner. And this is in the uh, standard 420 HC steel. Of course, it's made in the USA. And Buck's Forever Warranty, which is one of the best warranty services in the business. It is covered by the forever warranty. And here we can look at the tang stamp. Buck 103 USA. 
and I believe that mark there is showing it to be uh, 2024. I don't know for sure. I have to look that up. It's either 23 or 24. It's a recent, recent, very recent purchase. So again, this is the black phenolic, and I always mispronounce that word. It's phenol with an O lick phenolic. So this is kind of their standard production and. And again, this is this model is one of the original first six production knives they came out with in 1961. You can see here, it gives you a full uh, four-finger grip. I wear large to extra large gloves, so there's plenty of room there. It comes with the standard aluminum pommel and guard. And then you have your micarta spacers right there. We look at this really wonderful blade. I can see where this is a very nice skinner blade, especially if you're skinning, oh, maybe something like beavers or, uh, you know, game with a large pelt. I can see where this would be very handy indeed. Now, let's take a look and see what's currently available. So I put a little slide together here. This is based off of Buck's website. And under product description, it says it's a classic heavy-duty skinning knife. This fixed blade knife was designed for easily skinning game. The tip is narrow, while the curved belly aids in getting through thick layers. Overall length is eight and a quarter inches, and it has an imported sheath. Uh, this knife is available still on the Buck website, and for the standard version here, it's going to cost you $84.99. But you also have the option of the Dymalux Cocobolo Heritage in D2 steel for $94.99 or the OD Green Micarta Pro with S35VN steel for $169.99. And as you can also see there, that you can have it personalized. Now those prices I gave you are full retail off the Buck website. Again, go to your favorite uh, online knife dealer or local sporting uh, goods shop you might be able well I know on your uh, online shops anyway you can probably find them for five to ten dollars cheaper so those are the full retail we'll look at the sheath here and it is a standard buck sheath with the wrap around nice snap there we got uh, buck there on the button the snap of course the buck logo stamped into the front just their standard buck sheath they always have the model numbers or the the later ones anyway since uh, I think 1961 or two I think they've all had their uh, model numbers stamped in the back of them and we can see down in here sheath made in Mexico and buck does put a plastic liner in these sheaths and that helps uh, keep the shape on the sheath so we'll just stick it in here quick, close it up, we'll look for any blade rattle. So this one does, this one is just slightly loose. You get just a slight amount of rattle to it. And of course there's your belt loop. Uh, overall, these buck sheaths, I have no problem with them whatsoever. They seem to do very well. So there you have it, the Buck 103, uh, just another fine addition to my Buck Fixed Knife collection. I sure hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you had, please hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, have a very delightful day.